Hey guys, Logan here, great to see you and welcome to another video. Today I want to show you my settings in Battlefield 5 when I'm playing. This will maybe not work exactly on your PC, but you can take inspiration from my settings to use on your own PC and it will make your game run smoother and the performance maybe will be better. So let's head over to the options. Let's start with video. Okay, the basic settings. Resolution. Hatch, brightness, field of view, 74. Put this on 74 if you would like to, you can play around with it. It gives you horizontal field of view 90. Uh, and same for the vehicles. Add fields of view of motion blur, you want to put that to zero. I think there's a little motion blur in there anyway, but uh, this takes a lot away. And that's always nice to play without. Uh, ADS DOF effect. This you want to have this on off when you aim down sight. It will not be blurry on the side, so you can actually see if someone is sneaking up on you with a knife. Uh, custom color settings. I have that on off. And here you can see the four last ones: chromatic aberration, film grain, vignette, lens deceleration. Uh, put this on off if you would like to have as much performance as uh, possible. But you can play with them on and uh, it will look a little more cinematic, visual effects and so on. But put them on off if you want as much performance as possible. Moving over to advanced. DirectX 12 enabled. No, we want that off. High dynamic range. I put it on auto if you have a monitor that have HDR. Resolution scale. Keep that at 100. You can put it higher and that would make the game look absolutely beautiful. But it will take a pretty beating at your performance. Frame rate limiter 200. Future frame rendering, put that on on. Vertical sync, I have mine on off because I have a screen and a monitor that have G sync instead. I usually turn off vertical sync anyway. UI upscaling, put on auto. GPU memory restriction off on. I have that on off. Uh, that gives the GPU uh, free access to all of its memory. And here you can see HUD scaling 50%, graphic quality. You can see I have mine on Ultra, and that's because I like the game how it looks when I play on Ultra. I can play on lower to get higher uh, FPS, but I have over 100 while playing on Ultra, so I'm satisfied with that. But I think the standard setting when I started playing was this. Auto, Max, Fidelity. Fidelity is, I think that's for the visual stuff. And you can see it's the same settings down here. Ultra, TAA High, HBAO. Uh, so if I go to Ultra instead, it's the same. But when I choose this Ultra graphic quality instead of Max Fidelity, I got 30 more FPS with the Ultra. So if you're noticing some dips in the FPS, uh, despite you have a monster PC, uh, just go over here and check uh, which one you have chosen here. So go check that out. Okay. Let's head over to audio. I want to show you something in here. Here you have the master volume, music volume. Here is a little uh, tip. Use 3D headphones if you have a really great headset that is. Uh, these headphones, uh, the 3D headphones, are different from the default headphones. 3D headphones really make clear if there's people uh, below, above you, where, where they're coming from. Battlefield 5 has a lot of complaints about the footsteps. You can't hear where people are. Uh, if you play with the 3D headphones, I assure you, you can hear where people are. Announcer language, English, in-game announcer, I have it on, always good to have. VOIP, this is the voice chat in-game. I have this on off, it can get really irritating to have on. Uh, let's see, subtitles on, I think that's for the, the campaign and not the multiplayer. Text size normal. Okay, that's audio. Okay, let's check out some gameplay settings that I have. HUD show, HUD motion, I have that on on. Uh, you can play it off when the say explosion goes up nearby you. Uh, the hood can shake around a bit. If you have this on off, the, sh the shaking is uh, not there. The, the hood stays where it should be. Uh, I'm used to playing with on. Maybe I should play with off. You, yeah, shoot for yourself. Player created content. Yeah, sh show me that. Chat log. When active. I don't want to magnify the chat. Inventory. Uh, this is down to the right when you can see all your gadgets and everything. Uh, I don't want that on the screen all the time, so I have it uh, when active. Kill log, put it on show. I think this default hide when you start the game. Uh, so show, and I choose to have kill log filter all. I've played with the other stuff, like squad, uh, cell, not self, but I played with nearby. 
I don't think it worked that well, but uh, I play with all, I'm used to it, so it's okay. Kill log weapon, you can actually choose if you want to have uh, the actual name of the weapon that you got killed by or anyone else in the kill log, or you can have the icon plus name. Uh, I should have the icon, I recognize the guns up there. Score log weapon name off. Awards, I want these shown. Awards, vehicle seat info, critical messages. Overlay shadow strength, 40. Here is the shadow behind some of the stuff in the hood. Uh, when you're playing, sometimes it's very bright, say Hamada, uh, and you see some text over a bright area. Then you will be able to see the text. So this is the overlay shadow uh, that's behind the text. So you'll be able to see it in game. Here we have the crosshair. Crosshair visibility, 100. Good to see your crosshair. Crosshair color, I have this bright green, reflex NIDAR sight glow. This is when you look in like to a reflex sight. Uh, the glow with uh, sight inside, 80% I have mine. And the color is green now. It was default yellow, I think. And the latent sight color, I have red. Here we have the hit indicators, and this is very important. Hit indicator visibility, 100%, of course you want to see when you hit someone. Uh, usual hit. Uh, color is white for me, headshot color red, and the kill color is blue. So when it blinks blue, the hit indicator, I know I've killed someone. Then I can stop shooting. Damage base shape, that's good to have on, you want to know what you're hitting. Armor hit indicator color, I have that on white. Scrolling down a bit to the minimap, texture opacity of high on 50%, rotate with view. That's uh, my way to play, you can play with it off. Uh, and the map just stays, but I think it's good to have rotate with you. So I put it on. Flight zoom radius 250, vehicle zoom radius 75, on foot 50. And minimap size, I have mine on 110, so that's 10% more than the usual size. Show stationary weapons, heavy, I have mine on all, so I can see all stationary weapons. Useful if machine gun just shooting at you, you want to see what's shooting. Default icon opacity. Here we have objective icon opacity. I have this 60% friendly soldier opacity Not that important to have on the screen 80% enemy soldier though. It's very important 100% I want to see the red little icon over his head Gadget icon is not that important. So 20% and here we have the ads icon opacity objective icon opacity 30% Friendly soldier opacity 65, enemy soldier opacity 100, gadget icon opacity 20%. One last thing I want to show you before we go. Let's see here. The key bindings, soldier, scroll down a bit. Let's see where it is it. Use toolbox. This is uh, the fortifications when you want to build. Default, it's T. The letter T. I almost every time hit T when I want to hit R and reload. So I have removed this. And instead put my scroll button that is in the middle of my mouse. Just, I just click that and I get the hammer out and I can build. Uh, so a little tip, remove this T button for toolbox. Okay, there you have my settings in Battlefield 5. You can of course use these as inspiration for your settings. So experiment, make sure that you have the best uh, gaming experience while playing Battlefield 5. Before you go, make sure to subscribe, click the notification bell, leave a like, and of course, don't forget to leave your comment down below. Do you have any questions? Just leave them down there. Otherwise, I hope to see you all in my next video. This is Logan, signing out.